Yep, this is where we're at. Welcome back to Pokemon Infinite Fusion Hardcore Nuzlocke. This is episode 9, and this is it. This is Endgame. Today we make our way to the Elite Four, and we either win or lose. Now, who's ready for the ugliest sprites we've seen so far? We fuse Thaddeus and Waldo together to make Whale Sect. Shelly and Smokey fuse to make shelfing. And Sashimi and Starry fuse together to make Pidgey Carp. I refuse to go any further while being this underleveled, so I spend the next hour or so battling the same trainer on repeat to get up to the level cap. With that grinding comes evolutions. First, Sashimi evolves into Pidgeidos. Next, Shelly evolves into Cloything. Back to Sashimi who evolves into Pidos. And back to Shelly, who evolves into Cloizing. And finally, Thaddeus evolves into Whale Sect. I hate this team, but we get up to the level cap, and it almost feels like something is missing. We name it Zappy, and we fuse Zappy with Spicy to make Zap Trace. Okay, at least this fusion looks good. We're now ready to make our way to the Elite Four. Let's get our first required trainer out of the way. Oh, you poor, poor soul. I'm so sorry for what I must do. We meet up with John, who calls us a warm up and is ready to battle. John leads with Nito Giat. Zappy uses Discharge, and it's a one shot. Tau Cute out next. I set up Fly and Talcute works up. Fly connects and takes it into the red while Talcute seeks payback and an air slash to take it out. Next out is his starter, Blastsaur. One discharge and it's down. I switch into Shelly. Maghorn is next on the chopping block. One Aqua Jet is all it takes. I switch back into Zappy for John's Electados. Discharge takes Electados into the red and it sets up Light Screen. What a fool! One more Discharge takes it out. John's last Mon is Star Kazam. We discharge it into the red and it retaliates with a weak swift. One last discharge to take it out and win the battle. I guess the level cap is for the champion. Zappy is a bit OP, but maybe it's the level cap speaking. We step into the Pokemon League gate and we pass our badge check in order to end up on Route 26 for an encounter. We get an Arbok for our encounter, and we nickname it Cheerios. We take on the gauntlet of trainers, who are 
too scared to move forward onto Victory Road. And we end up on Route 27 for another encounter. It's a Sand Slash who gets the nickname Dandy. More trainers, more battles, nothing can stop us now. We're almost done. We enter Tojo Falls as our next step of this trial ground and capture our next encounter, Golbat, otherwise known as Beans. The battles don't stop. How many trainers are afraid of Victory Road? How many times do we have to prove ourselves to these nobodies before we make it to the league? Well, that was our last battle. We step into the halfway point, the rest stop between Viridian City and Victory Road. We recollect ourselves and step into Victory Road for our last wild encounter. It's Onyx, who gets the nickname Elite. And now it's time to make our way through Victory Road. Except, I don't like Sashimi. Sashimi is weak. We already have a flying type and two water types. It's just gotta go. So I fuse Elite and Sandy to make Sand Nix. We make our way through the pretty vanilla Victory Road, defeating trainers along the way. Not even a rogue strength puzzle can stop me. I'm ready to be champion. Sandy then stops me to evolve into Sandlix. I see something up there. I need it. I force my way through the road of victory to make it to this obscure corner where I saw whatever caught my eye. And it did not disappoint. And its name is Endgame. Just a few more trainers and boulders stand in our way until we make it to the Indigo Plateau. I realize I don't show any trainer battles or anything, but Zappy's very OP. And to be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of Sandy. So why not become even more OP? And its name is Icy Hot. I fuse Icy Hot and Endgame together to make Artite. All of this time and effort. All of it. For these next five battles. Like. Subscribe. Let's do this. First of the Elite Four. Ice Trainer Lorelei. She leads with Magmorgong. Zappy discharges for half, and Magmorgong responds with Bubble Beam. One more discharge takes out Magmorgong. I switch into Icy Hot for Mama Bro. Flamethrower hits hard, while Bro's Ice Fang does nothing. Lorelei uses a full restore, and Freeze Dry's Lava Plume hits it hard. Another full restore used before we Flamethrower into the yellow and burn Mama Bro. One last Flamethrower takes down the Mammoth Brother. Out next is Weavrass. I Lava Plume for half, and Weavrass embargoes. Oh no, I can't use items. Lorelei withdraws Weavrass, and sends out Tentaster, who takes a Lava Plume for quarter HP. 
Icy Hot uses Freeze Dry for minimal damage, while Tentister responds with an Icicle Crash. Ancient Power takes Tentister into the red while it sets up spikes. One more Ancient Power, and Tentister goes down. Weavrass is back! Lava Plume! It's gone again! Lorelei's last Pokemon is Jingrowth, who gets taken out by a single flamethrower, winning us our first battle. In between each of these battles, I will be healing health and power points as needed. On to battle number two, Bruno, the Fighting Master. His first Pokemon is Mavire. I lead with Air Slash, and it Thunder Punches in return. Zappy sets up Fly, missing a Thunder Punch. Bruno takes time to full restore before Fly connects, taking Mavire past half HP. Another full restore before Air Slash takes half of Mavire's health. We set up Fly again, dodging a Cross Chop. And when Fly connects, Mavire is out of this battle. I switch into Icy Hot, and Bruno switches into Steechamp. Flamethrower takes the champ into the red, and it responds with a crunch. Another Flamethrower to the Steel One removes it from our sight forever. I switch into Thaddeus for Bruno's next abomination, Marochan. I put it to sleep using Spore but it wakes up next turn and hits a dynamic punch, confusing Thaddeus, who manages to still hit Giga Drain. I try to put Marochan back to sleep for some reason, but Thaddeus hits herself in confusion, which luckily causes Marochan's counter to fail. Still focused on putting this thing to sleep, I hit Spore and then hit myself in confusion again on the next turn. Marochan wakes up and misses counter again. I put it to sleep again! Just take it out! Surf finally puts everyone out of their misery with this battle. I switch into Zappy for Bruno's next Mon, Psycross. Is it Psycross or Skicross? A single Air Slash tells me it doesn't matter what their name is. I switch back to Thaddeus for Bruno's ace, Magna Nix. Magnanix locks on the Thaddeus, so it can see itself go to sleep in crystal clear 4K. We Giga Drain the Magnet Rock Snake into the red before it wakes up and hits Iron Tail. One more Giga Drain, and that's the Bruno battle. We heal as necessary, and head to face the ghost of the Elite Four herself, Agatha. Agatha leads with Mispat, who mean looks me TBH, and we just yawn back at it. Fierce battles so far. Mrs. Bat attacks with her wing, and me attacks with his teeth and the bat falls asleep. One full restore later and Miss Bat is awake, but we crunch it again. Ozzy would be proud. Another full restore leads to another more powerful crunch. Miss Bat finally hits back with a shadow ball before me TBH crunches it to death. I switch into Kit Kat for Agatha's Umter. Umter hits softly with Dark Pulse before Kit Kat takes half HP with a Vital Throw. Another Dark Pulse, quote, hits, and we take out Umter with another Vital Throw. We switch into Thaddeus for Agatha's Wobgar. Wobgar goes EP by for bedtime before we take a measly amount of HP with Giga Drain. 
Wobgar wakes up in Destiny Bonds Thaddeus. I don't know how that works, but Water Spout takes it into the yellow. I think we avoided it. I put it to sleep again because I'm scared of the bond we formed. It wakes up and puts a curse on my family. So much for our bond. I take out this slug with a surf. Shelly comes out to meet Agatha's Gain Doom. Aqua Jet takes the pupper to half HP, and the doggo misses Inferno. Another Aqua Jet takes Old Yeller out back. I bring out Thaddeus for Agatha's Snorgar. The cursing isn't done yet, so I put it to sleep to keep this video PG because I might be monetized one day. I switch into Kit Kat, and Snorgar is still asleep. Wake Up Slap takes half HP, and we get hit back with a Body Slam. Back to Thaddeus, who also gets Body Slammed. I hit with Spore once again, then a Giga Drain to regain some health. We surf it into the red before it wakes up and body slams us into the yellow. Go back to sleep, stupid. Stop waking up. Surf drowns it while it's asleep. We beat Agatha, and we're past the halfway mark. You know, I'm actually starting to like this team. Does this mean someone's going to die in the next battle? Speaking of which, Number four of the kids next door is Dragon Tamer Lance. Lance sends out Dragados. Icy Hot freeze dries it for a one shot knockout. We swap in the Zappy for Lance's Togenite. Discharge takes the dragon into the red before it outrages for almost half HP. One more discharge, and it's down. Me, TBH, comes out to face Tyranodactyl. T Dactyl Brave Birds for some big damage and takes recoil before getting yawned at. We switch into Shelly, and Tyran D misses its move and falls asleep. Lance hits a full restore on TD before Shelly can hit an Aqua Jet. Another turn, another Aqua Jet takes Rock Bird to the yellow. It Brave Birds for under half and takes recoil damage. One more Aqua Jet puts this bird in the ground. We bring out Kit Kat for Lance's Porydra. Porydra hits Tri Attack for just over half before Kit Kat responds with Vital Throw to put it in the red. Lance full restores, and Wake Up Slap puts Porydra in the red. One more Wake Up Slap puts Porydra in the dead. We switch into Icy Hot for Lance's ace, Typhnare. Freeze Dry doesn't do too much, but it does get the freeze. Ancient Power brings Typhnare to half HP. Another Ancient Power to the red, but Typhnare thaws and Fire Blast Icy Hot to about half. One more Ancient Power before we beat Typhnare and Lance and get to move on to our final battle, having lost no Pokemon. With everything at stake, we approach an overconfident John for our final battle. John leads with Nido Giat, who is barely able to take a discharge, but sets up a sword stance. John fully restores all reliable, and Zappy misses discharge. We do hit Discharge next turn, but take about quarter damage from Wing Attack. Another full restore wasted, and we Discharge to leave a sliver of HP and paralyze this poor thing. Yet another full restore, but for some reason, Discharge takes out Nidogeot this time. Okay. 
I send out Shelly next to drown John's rye mortar. We aqua jet for just under half. And Fire Blast does more than half. I misread the absorb bulb that Rye Mortar had as a water absorbing berry. So I Aqua Jet Rye Mortar into the red before Shelly gets Fire Blasted again and goes down. Thaddeus comes out for vengeance. John Four restores Rye Mortar, but Thaddeus one shots with Surf. That's for Shelly. Icy Hot comes out to take on Tautor. We flamethrower for just under half, but get hit big by a Giga Impact. Knowing Tautor has to recover from that, I switch into Kit Kat. Kit Kat hits Wake Up Slap to almost red before getting hit big by Zen Headbutt. One more Wake Up Slap puts Tautor out of my misery. We switch into Zappy for John's weak Star Kazam. One discharge takes this thing out. What's new? We then switch into Thaddeus for Electados. It dances like a dragon before being put to sleep. Giga Drain is attempted here, but it hardly does anything. It then wakes up and thunder punches for under half. We hit back with a weak water spout. Electados dances again and goes to sleep again. I switch into Icy Hot while Electaboy is still sleeping. Icy Hot is able to ancient power this thing into the yellow before John withdraws Electados and sends out Blastsaur, who gets hit with a freeze dry. Icy Hot flamethrowers, but I guess it's more water than grass, and Blastsaur hits with a hydro pump taking out two of my legendaries. Zappy comes back out, pissed off, and discharges Blastor into the bread before it starts to set up a Skull Batch. Another discharge out, and we take out John's starter. We switch to me, TBH, for the last stretch of the battle with Electados, who's still sleeping. And just like that, one Body Slam is all it takes to make us champion of the Kanto region. No, that can't be. You beat my best. After all that work to become league champ, my reign is over already? It's not fair. Why, why did I lose? I never made any mistakes raising my Pokemon. Darn it. You're the new Pokemon League Champion, although I don't like to admit it. Wow. So you won. Congratulations, you're the new Pokemon League Champion. You've grown up so much since you first left Pallet Town, wow. You have come of age. Blue, I'm disappointed. I came when I heard you beat the Elite Four, but when I got here, you had already lost. Blue, do you understand why you lost? You've forgotten to treat your Pokemon with trust and love. Without them, you will never become a champ again. Wow, you understand that your victory was not just your own doing. The bond you share with your Pokemon is marvelous. Wow, come with me. Before we continue, has Professor Oak lost it? Who is Blue? We beat John. John's his grandson. Also, let us pay our respects to the ones who fought so hard for us until the very end. Thank you, Shelly. Thank you, Icy Hot. <clears throat> Congratulations, WoW! This floor is the Pokemon Hall of Fame. Pokemon League champions are honored for their exploits here. Their Pokemon are also recorded in the Hall of Fame. Wow, you've endeavored hard to become the new League champion. 
Congratulations, wow! You and your Pokemon are Hall of Famers. Zappy, the Zap Trace. Kit Kat, the Perchamp. Thaddeus, the Whale Sect. R.I.P. Shelly, the Cloising. R.I.P. Icy Hot, the Artite. And me, TBH, the Keklax. Wow, what a game. I'm going to let the credits play out to properly shout out everyone who worked on this amazing band game slash ROM hack. I'm going to be real, I honestly thought after Sabrina we weren't that long for the run, but somehow we were able to pull through. Maybe it's the two legendary fusions I had, who knows, maybe I'm just that good. I do want to spend some of this time in the credits remembering those who fought for us along the way, but weren't able to make it to the end. Stan the man. Our starter. Subscribe. Doug. Sprite. Ibuprofen. Rocky. Meteor. Trash Seed Like the video? Gas leak Shelly And Icy Hot I don't know how you could follow or support anyone who worked on this game via the code, assets, any of the custom fusion sprites, or any of the custom, you know, just Pokemon sprites. But if you can find a way, definitely do it. They deserve your support. They made this amazing fan game. Anyway, now that I'm finally home, I'm able to rest for a while. And just take it easy. Thank you so much for watching the finale. Oh.